So, iOS 14 is coming to the iPhone, and it's gonna bring with it a whole bunch of updates like improvements to Apple Maps, Siri, iMessage, widgets finally making its way to iOS, but also improvements to the way we experience the AirPods Pro. So we're gonna deep dive into these new features coming to the AirPods Pro through iOS 14. Features like automatic switching, spatial audio, and some other features that weren't mentioned during WWDC, but will also be coming to the AirPods Pro through iOS 14. Oh, by the way, guys, today I'm gonna to talk about these features as unveiled at WWDC, but when iOS 14 comes out, I will make a video about how these features actually work in real life. If you don't want to miss out on that video from this channel, please subscribe and ring the notifications bell because this is the only way YouTube will notify you of new content from this channel. Number one, automatic switching. This is a feature that allows you to automatically switch between multiple Apple devices at once when using the AirPods Pro. So say you're watching a video on your iPhone and you're using the AirPods Pro, but now you want to watch videos on the iMac instead because the screen is bigger, right? You can simply go to your iMac, you don't have to pair the AirPods Pro to your iMac again, simply pick up from where you left off. And when you've got a phone call coming in that you need to pick up outside, you can simply bring your iPhone outside and answer it there with your AirPods Pro. Again, no pairing process is necessary here. That sounds a lot like multi-point pairing, right? But it's actually not because real multi-point pairing allows you to connect a pair of earbuds or headphones to multiple devices regardless of whether it's an Android device or an Apple device at the same time. Whereas automatic switching is a feature that's exclusive only to Apple devices. And to get this to work, you need to log into your iCloud account on these devices. So it's kind of like what Samsung did with the Galaxy Buds Plus and the SmartThings app. But the real benefit here that automatic switching has over traditional multi-point pairing is that you can connect more than two devices at the same time. As long as it's an iOS device or an Apple device running the latest firmware. And it's gonna work with Apple devices like iMac, MacBook Pro, uh, iPad, iPhone, Apple Watch. Does not seem to work with Apple TV 4K though because it's not included in that list. But you know what, um, there's gonna be an update that will benefit people connecting the AirPods Pro to the Apple TV 4K too, so stick around. Now, moving on. The second big feature coming to the AirPods Pro is spatial sound. Now, this is something that I'm a little skeptical of, to be honest, and I'm going to talk about why later. But what is spatial sound? Now, this is a type of surround sound processing that's designed for the AirPods so that when you're watching videos, it feels like you're watching videos in a movie theater, you know? So you get surround sound coming from the front, from the sides, from the back. It's going to work with videos encoded in Dolby Digital 5.1, 7.1 and Dolby Atmos, and it's also got head tracking. So this means that the audio effects from uh, these discrete channels stay anchored in their spot when you turn your head. This provides for a more immersive movie watching experience because it's gonna feel like you're uh, watching a movie with actual home theater speakers around you. So it's gonna sound a lot more immersive than usual, which is basically the audio following the direction of your head no matter which way you turn, right? This will help to make it feel like the action's always coming from the direction of the phone. Now, this is not a new concept because brands like Odyssey and Sony has done this before. Odyssey with the Odyssey Mobius and Sony with the PSVR headset. But what Apple is doing here that seems to be much better is that they are using the accelerometers in the earbuds and the directional Bluetooth technology of the iPhone to anchor the sound in one spot. So the AirPods will always recognize the iPhone as the front channel and stay anchored in that direction. Whereas with the other headsets, I frequently had to reset the, the position of the front channel because eventually the front channel will drift and my positioning of the audio will be very off. So I've always had to like reset the front channel, you know, bring it back to the real front. But like I said, I've got concerns about spatial sound and 
one of my biggest concerns is how convincing is this surround sound gonna be from earbuds as small as these. Because from what I know, it's immensely difficult to create a proper surround sound experience using earbuds compared to headphones. I mean, headphones, you can do all sorts of things. And some of the best examples uh, you can see in the gaming industry where you have headphones that can support up to 7.1 discrete channels. So although Apple says that they've gotten around this issue by applying a directional filter to the AirPods Pro's sound, I'm still pretty skeptical and this is something that I wouldn't know for sure until I finally tried it when iOS 14 is released. There are a few other AirPods Pro features coming to iOS. First, we have battery notifications. So when the AirPods Pro is running out of battery, a bar notification will appear to show you how much battery it has left before you need to charge them. So there's a lot less guesswork involved about the AirPods Pro's remaining battery life. Also, headphone accommodations. Since everybody's hearing ability is different, iOS 14 will help to automatically tune the AirPods Pro's sound signature to your hearing. This will improve the dynamic range of the AirPods Pro sound and also help to improve voice microphone quality for phone calls. And this is a pretty big deal because right now, there isn't any way you can tune the AirPods Pro's sound to suit your hearing. No graphic equalizer to speak up, no universal uh, EQ presets to play around with. So this is a welcome change. And finally, if you have two sets of AirPods and you have an Apple TV 4K, you can connect both of them to the Apple TV so that you and your partner can have a movie session together without disturbing anybody else at home. So guys, those are all the features that iOS 14 will bring to the AirPods Pro. But let me know guys in the comment section, which of these features are you most impressed by? For me, I think the feature that blew me away the most was uh, spatial sound because you get surround sound processing in a pair of earbuds and with head tracking, I mean, it's never been done before as far as I know. So I can't wait to try these features when iOS 14 comes out, most probably in September because Apple says fall 2020. So it's gonna be September, right? Right? But when iOS 14 finally drops, I will make a video about how these features actually work in real life. So if you don't want to miss out on that video from this channel, please subscribe and ring the notifications bell because this is the only way YouTube will notify you of new content from this channel. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please show that you like this video by punching that like button with a vengeance, Bruce Lee style and sharing this video with your friends and family. I'll see you again bros and sisters in the next video. If you're a humble person like me, this shirt is a great way to show your friends how humble you really are. And whenever you look in the mirror to admire yourself, of course, it will also help to remind you to always be humble. So guys, this is a pretty fun shirt to wear. You can check it out in the link below. It's available in t-shirt, tank top, and hoodie. Your purchase helps keep this channel going, and I appreciate your support, bros.